Welcome yogis. This is Nico. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a little create a sun salutation flow for you. If you've all already checked out my other sun salutation A flow, it's for um, anybody that doesn't know what that is or would like to start yoga, you can check that out that I just posted a couple days ago and then come back to this one and add in some fun stuff. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to add in some twists and uh, different things to strengthen our sun salutation and just to really have fun with it, honestly. So we'll get started with that mountain pose at the top of your mat. And I know you guys can't see me, but that's okay, you can hear me. So feet hip width distance, maybe lift those toes a little bit and set them down, maybe one at a time. And then let those hands just fall by the side there. Gently tuck in that tailbone. <clears throat> Roll those shoulders down your back. And then a soft gaze out in front of you, or maybe close those eyes for a moment. And we'll take in three deep breaths together. Breathing in through the nose here. Letting go out the mouth, out the nose. Whatever feels good. Two more, just like that. Kind of lengthen up on that next breath in. Ground down on that breath out. Maybe a little gentle bend in the knees. Good, one more time here. Big breath in. Maybe you open that chest up a little bit more. And you take that exhale, open those eyes, let it all go. Good, big reach up on that next breath in. The gaze is the palms touch, if that feels good on the neck. Take that exhale, let those hands fall, head and neck and upper body, forward fold over our legs. You can grab opposite elbows here, maybe you've just woken up, or maybe you've gotten off work, you need some some small movements here in the beginning. And then we'll take a big breath in, lift those hands to the shins, press into them, halfway lift here, lengthen that spine, stay here for that exhale. Breathe in again, lengthen that spine, keep reaching the top of the head, take that exhale, bend those knees, plant those hands. We're gonna step it back to our first plank. And so here, you can either step it back, what, what I just did, or you can always add in a little hop from the top there. So our plank pose, we're walking those wrists, those hands underneath the shoulders, those feet are about hip width distance, maybe a little bit wider. And if you know you're going to need to drop those knees, drop them right here in that plank pose. So next thing we're going to do is shift over those wrists whether you're on the knees or the toes, you're gonna to take that exhale, squeeze those elbows into the rib cage, lower slowly for that release. And then releasing the tops of the feet here, maybe kick the mat a little bit here, and then pressing the hands into the mat, we're going into a cobra. So lifting that chest a little bit off the mat there, that stomach is still on, and you're sending those elbows back, Shoulders down and back, squeezing through the glutes, pointing through the toes, and then we'll press into that full up dog if that feels nice. So really get, getting into the triceps. And if that lower back starts to hurt, come down to that cobra, or try to squeeze the glutes, relieve yourself some, from some of that pain. And then we'll go ahead and flip the toes and the hips back and up to our first down dog. Whatever you need to do here for a breath or two to wiggle it out, bending one knee at a time, releasing head and neck towards the mat, chest through the shoulders, heels towards the mat. And then we'll go ahead and take those feet together, big breath in, lift those heels, you're gonna bend those knees, and then travel up top in between the hands. And then wiggle those feet hip width distance, halfway lift here, again, long spine. Take that exhale, melt that chest over the legs. Next breath in, reach those hands high, root down through the feet, lift up, take that exhale, hands to heart center. 
All right, we've got a couple little sun salutations here with some fun movement. So get ready. Take a big breath in, interlace those hands behind the back, bend in those knees, lift that chest up. Good, take that exhale, melt forward, keep those hands interlaced. Good, halfway left here, hands still interlace, send that booty back, take that exhale, plant those hands, and I want you to take that right leg back, bending it to this left knee, keep this right hand down, Twisting runner's lunge as you lift that left arm high. And then we're gonna bring it back, right foot back to meet the left, and then we're gonna step that left foot back, ground that left hand down, reach that right arm up. Awesome, we're gonna do that two more times. So bring that left foot back in, kind of like a little crouch or something here. Take that right leg back, lift that left arm high. Good, take it to that right side left leg back reach that right arm high good bring it back through center one more on each time at your own pace we'll meet in our plank good reach that last arm up and then just send that last leg back that right leg so you're in that plank all right y'all we're going to take a big breath in, either drop those knees or not, shift over those wrists, Woo! release to the mat in that push-up. All right, we're going to come into a cobra, but we're going to lift those hands off the mat too, so working that back. So really squeeze the glutes and point those toes to help you lift off. So take that next breath in, and then take that exhale up to that cobra. Ooh, you're working that upper back here, sending those elbows back. Good. Take that breath in. Regain that energy. Release the chest. Release the hands. Good. Take that exhale. Lift off. If you want a little bit more, you can lift those toes off the mat. Good. Take that next breath in. Release. Regain. Good, take that exhale to that down dog. Press into the knees and the hands, shift that booty up, and wiggle it in this little down dog. Ooh, pedal out those feet here. And then we're gonna do some alternating three leg -a dog lifts. So we're starting with that right leg. Take a big breath in, reach it up to the sky. And then if that feels good, bend the knee, stack the hips. Good, take that exhale, return it back to the mat. Left leg lifts on that next breath in. And then crack it open. So one breath to movement here. Stepping down with that exhale, lifting with that breath in. So you've got three on each side. Pressing in to those fingertips here. Try not to let those wrists do all the work. So not just pressing into that palm, pressing into those fingertips. All right, after you've done those three, bring those feet together. And then actually walk those hands back on that exhale. So maybe wiggle those feet back out to hip width distance. Good, take a big breath in, halfway lift here. And then root to rise on that exhale. <sighs> Hands come at heart center. All right, we're doing some side stretches here in this mountain pose. So we're gonna take a big breath in, reach those hands high, take that left wrist, right hand, reach it over to the right, send the hips out to the left. Good, next breath in, reach it back up. Left wrist reaching for that right, or left hand, right wrist, pull it over to the left. Send those hips to the right. Long spine, so you can keep that chest lifted. Good, big breath in, reach up. Take that exhale, hands come to the calves, melt that chest forward. Big breath in, halfway lift. I want you to reach those arms forward, really lift or sit that booty back. Take that exhale, cactus arms. So bending those elbows at a 90 degree angle and sending them back. Big breath in, reach. Take that exhale, press, 
Good, two more, just like that. Big reach, exhale, bend. One more time, big reach out front. Exhale, spread those fingertips. And then let's melt it down, walk it out to your plank. Beautiful. And then we're coming down to a forearm plank. So lower one elbow at a time, no rush to get there. Tuck that tailbone in, use that core, maybe lower that booty, and then release those hips. We're coming into a sphinx pose. Release the feet. So those elbows are underneath the shoulders, pressing into the forearms and the hands to open up that chest and the shoulders. All right, and we're gonna do some up dog pulses. So pressing into the hands to lift these elbows off the mat. We're gonna do about four of them. So take a big breath in, we're gonna lift, press into the hands, lift those arms off, slowly set them back down on that exhale, good. Three more, big breath in, so strong. Press into the hands, take that exhale, slowly lower. Good, two more just like that. These are really good to help with that push-up and that chaturanga that we do. And then we're gonna press all the way up to our down dog. So uh, maybe lowering the chest, hands glide underneath the shoulders, slip those toes. You can press into a tabletop or maybe all the way up into your down dog. All right, lift that chest, kind of reach for the thighs, and then take that right hand, reach to the outside left knee, maybe that shin, maybe that quad, that um, hamstring area, and then take that right hand back, take that left hand to that right leg. Little twist here, so you're holding it maybe for a breath, reaching that right hand over to that left this time. We're gonna do this three times, and we're gonna hold that last one for maybe about two or three breaths. So. Right hand to that left leg. If this is too long, just take it to the other side. Maybe work your way into breathing into this pose. All right, take that left hand back. You've got, um, We've got to travel up to the top. So we're going to bring those feet back together, maybe a little bit apart if that feels too close. And then we're going to take a little pulse back, bending those knees, sending that booty back to the heels and pressing it back, a little motion here. And we're going to either step up or if you're going to pulse with me, you're going to hop up in between those hands. Maybe you do this a couple times here. And then we're gonna meet at the top of our mat. So big breath in, halfway lift again here. Look over that right shoulder, look over the left. Good, take that exhale, forward fold. Big breath in, root to rise, reach those hands high. As the hands come together, take that exhale, hands come at heart center. Awesome. And then we're gonna take a big breath in, reach those hands back up for our last sun salutation. And I want you to grab opposite elbows, take a little twist side to side. Good. Then take that next breath in, reach those hands high, grow long. Take that exhale, release. Good, halfway lift, big breath in. Take that exhale. I want you to tippy toe those feet all the way to a plank and then tippy toe them back up to that forward fold. So if you need maybe books right here to plant or just bend those knees and tippy toe back one more time. Tippy toe back up, however you need to do this. And we're gonna slowly tippy toe back to that plank and we've got some side planks. So shift those uh, heels over to the left, reach that right arm up, send that top hip up, and then take it to that right side. Reach that left arm up, stacking the hips, 
Two more on each side. Good, use that core to lift the hips up. Good, one more time, press in and out of the hand so you're not sinking in your shoulders. And then we're coming into that down, or upward dog, excuse me, we're gonna drop those knees or not, elbows in, lower to that push up. Big breath into that up dog or your cobra. And we're gonna gently look over that right shoulder if that feels good, over the left. If you do that two more times if that feels good, or go ahead and shift into your down dog. All right, we'll all meet there. Our last down dog of class. We're gonna add in some core here. So we're gonna do some knee ins, knees into the chest, but we're gonna really round that back as you bring that knee in, kind of like a cat pose like we do in cat cow. So think about hip width distance, you're gonna take a big breath in, bring that right knee in first, point the toes, round the back, you're gonna also shift forward, take that exhale, sit it back, down dog. We're gonna alternate, left knee in, bring it in, point the toes, Take that exhale, send it back. Good, strong core here. Bring that right knee in. Hover. Take that exhale, send it back down. Breath in, that left knee in. See if you can bring it into the chest a little bit more. Take that exhale, send it back. One more on each side. You've got this. No rush to get to that finish line or back to that down dog, per se. And then send it back. And we're gonna drop those knees out wide. You got yourself a child's pose. Whew, walk those hands out, let that chest fall. If you want those knees together, you can take that and maybe take an alternate child's pose. Maybe reaching those hands for the heels, maybe trying to interlace those hands. You've got those options for that child's pose. Slow that breath down. Walk those hands over to the left. Let go of everything you've just done. It's in the past now. You're more than welcome to always come back to this video. Walk those hands over to the right now. You're always welcome to this video to practice strengthening your sun salutations. You can always add in more of those little funky poses and exercises we did. Take that next breath in, walk those hands back, cross the ankles, sit down on that booty. We're gonna do a forward fold. The last thing we will do here, so take that next breath in, lift, and I want you to bring those knees in to make like a nice little triangle here. And then I want you to relax that chest, the rib cage, onto your thighs as much as you can. And I want you to grab the big toes with your peace fingers or maybe the outsides of the feet. And I want you to be real heavy here around the back. Let that chin melt into the knees. And then just see what feels good here. If you need to wiggle it out a little bit more, you can always press those heels into the mat and kind of glide those feet forward if you want a bit more of a deeper pose. But you're more than welcome just to relax right here. Feels really good on that lower back, that spine, the hips, the glutes. And then when you're ready, you can walk those hands back up, cross those feet. I want you to close the eyes for a moment here. We're gonna take one last breath to end class. You all did amazing. I hope you know that. Yoga is really just, it is fun stretching, fun movement. Um, kind of channeling in that inner child, inner kid of version of yourself that we technically do all have within ourselves. 
it never really leaves us. So if you were a little hard on yourself during this class, please come back and take this and start with a smile on your face, end with a smile on your face. Nothing too serious here. All right, take that next breath in, reach those hands high and guide those palms together. Take that exhale, plug those thumbs into your heart and bow inward. Always acknowledging your energy, your effort, your love and light. Namaste. Thank y'all so much for practicing with me. Um, yeah, look out for the next class and let me know how this class uh, goes for you. If this strengthens your sun salutations, if it helps you to relieve any stress or anxiety after work, after school, whatever it is that you're doing. So hope to see you soon. Namaste.